Okay, hello, Simone here from Monches Loon, and today I will be showing you how to do uh, Edifix, a cute little dog from Asterix and Obelix. Uh, I've given him quite a big belly because he's quite fat, his little mustache and his ears. All you need are white and black bands, I think about a dozen black. I'm not quite sure how many white, I think about 60 or 70 or so. Um, count later and uh, give you a more exact band count in the description. Of course you need your loom, your hook and a couple of holding pins. Uh, we're gonna start by making his paws. I only made three of them. Three little legs with his paws. So I'm gonna show you how to do one and then you've gotta pause the video and make the rest. I'm going to start with some white bands and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my white, wrap it around my hook four times, like that. Take another one, same thing, four loops, just like that. I'm just going to push them next to the other one. A third band, four loops as well. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place all these 12 loops on a single double loop band. So what I'm going to do is one band double it. I'm just going to place the other end on my finger like that. I'm going to grab these loops and place them on that band. Just like that. So you've got your 12 loops on a double loop band. Now before I place this end back what I'm going to do is grab another white and make four loops with it. Three, four, and then I'll place this side right back. So that one is exactly in between the two ends of your double loop band holding your 12 loops. So it's your double looped four bands and the other end of your double loop band. What I'm going to do now is grab another band, double loop it, and grab all these bands again, all these loops, and just pull them on top of these bands. Yeah, there we go. It's the four in the middle. And the last two. Okay. Um, now I'm going to take another white, double loop it, and put everything on there. And after that, I'm going to repeat the process one more time. So place it back on there. And the last time, one white, double loop. and put it back on my hook. So there you go, here's your little paw and I'm actually gonna transfer it to my holding hook. Oh. You can use a toothpick or anything as well, just something to place it on temporarily so it won't fall apart. So here I go, four little paws. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make his tail and I'm gonna make his tail uh, with my hook as well and yeah I'm gonna make him one bigger than this one which means I'm gonna start with black because the top of his tail is black and I'm gonna make four loops around my hook like that take another band double loop it and place all those four loops onto that band and I'm gonna repeat this process twice with a white band. So another white band, double loop, and I'm placing all the loops on there. And the last one, white. Um, this one can actually stay on my hook because now we're going to lay out the body and we'll attach this one straight away. Uh, the body will you need all white bands. Just let me grab some. And I'm going to start with uh, his neck. And for his neck I'm going to grab two bands and double loop them. And place them right on top. Then what I'm going to do is take two bands and go on the diagonal uh, to both sides. 
And after that I'm coming down one pack with two bands. Now this is for the top of his body, which is still quite flat, but because I want him to be very bulky beneath there, uh, I'm going to make the sides single bands double loop. Those will pull in really, really tight towards the middle. So I'm going to place a double loop here, and on the other side as well. And then the last diagonal, I'm going to go here. So not the uh, short diagonal, but one pack longer. I'll just skip one pack. Also with a double loop band. Okay, it's just like this. So two bands, two bands, double loop band, a double loop band. And these were two double loop bands on top. Now we're going to do the middle row and the first pack down it's just two bands. And now for his fat belly I'm going to take five bands at a time. Five and place them right there. And again, five bands. And for the last one, five bands as well. So, like that. Uh, now I'm gonna place some holding bands. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna double loop them. Check. Okay, just let me check. I think I should. No, I'm gonna half loop them. Sorry. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a triangle on these three packs with my band, and I don't wanna fully double loop the band, but I only wanna double loop on two of my three packs. I'm gonna. Grab it and loop back. Wait a minute. Grab it to loop back on those two packs. So these two are double looped and this part is just single looped. I'm going to do it um, beneath there as well, but instead of making out a triangle uh, facing up, I'm going to let this triangle face down, so point down. And again, I'm going to half loop. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach his tail, just like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to loop up the whole middle row and uh, his legs we will attach while we are looping later on. But first I'm going to loop the whole middle row, so grab all five bands. Did I have all five? No, I think I just had four. The last one. Just make sure you grab all five of the bands. Go in here, underneath the holding bands. Yep. So every now and then it's a little bit hard to find the right ones, but yeah, there we go. I think I got all of them. Yeah. So keep looping up, just grabbing the bottom bands and loop them back onto themselves. And here it's just two bands. Gotta release some tension. Alright, now we have to attach his paws and I'm just going to grab the first two of them and place them on my good hook again. That's one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the top two of these diagonal bands. Those for me are the ones that go to the right. Just gonna grab them and pull them through. But before I place them onto the pack, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my feet and slide it onto that band just like that. So I'll show you on the other side as well. You go through, grab the band, both of them, yeah. 
and I'm just gonna take the pole and slide it right on there. If you would attach him regularly, because you made such a big belly, uh, he kind of bends in a weird way. And what he does, he's flat out like this. But this one just, I think, one bend slips. Yeah, I have to take this one off. Sorry, I have to do this side again. Something slipped. Uh, anyway, if you're done, you can start looming up. And we're going to do the same thing, the same way of attaching the other paws on the other two diagonal bands. So I'm looming up to the kind of the shoulder pegs or how you want to call them, the ones at the corner. All right, and I'm gonna grab my holding pin again and place the two feet on my regular hook, just like that. Again, I'm going to just grab the bottom bands, grab one of my paws and slide it right on there. Make sure you have all the bands. I'm going to place it on my neck pack. The last paw. to do is grab these and loop them onto themselves. They can be a bit tight because there are two double loop bands so there's a lot of strength in them. Here we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the whole thing and place this end on my holding pin. So I'm just using the back of my hook because some of the bands are quite tight and I don't want them to break because then you have to start all over again. Grab my holding hook and place it right on there. And you have to kind of push his belly to the bottom and his paws as well. We can change this, the way his paws are positioned later. Uh, and you guys, little tail. So, this is the body of Edefix or of a little puppy dog. And now we're going to make his head. Um, you need your loom in the same position and we're gonna start I think it's yeah his head is all double bent <coughs> sorry about that and I'm gonna start by placing two bands on each of the top diagonals like that and then I'm gonna come down twice on each side all with two bands Like that, and I'm gonna come into the middle with two bands as well, so the diagonal closing in. And now I'm gonna fill up the middle all with two bands. Okay, uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create the top of his hat so his nose and Mustache, and I'm gonna just go down a few packs, and I'm gonna start with two bands on each row, just like that. 
and what I'm going to do now is create his mustache pieces and for that I'm going to come down a little bit more I'll start by placing two bands then one band double looped another band double looped and what we call a capping band with four loops so this is what you should have two bands a double loop band, a double loop band and a, a full loop cap capping band and I'm going to do the same thing at the other side so two bands one band double looped another band double looped and the capping band with four loops okay, I'm going to loop the, loom these two pieces up as for his moustache like that, loom them on top of themselves through the whole cabinet. yep there we go and I'm gonna remove both of them and place them on my hook so just you can just pull them up Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the band at the top as a diagonal band here and there. So the first one you can just grab it with your fingers. I'm going to take both ends of the two bands that are on top. I'm just going to place them on the diagonal like that. And the same thing with the other half. Grab it like this and place it right onto those two pegs. Need to make sure I've got the loops right. Okay. And now I'm going to fill this one up with two bands. And the last thing we need to do is create the top of his nose. And for his top of his nose is black again. So what I'm going to do is grab one band. Yeah, double loop it right there and now I'm gonna create um, two capping bands loops. yeah I'm gonna create uh, gonna use two bands to cap off and I'm gonna cap off with four loops that way his nose will be a little bit bigger three four. this is gonna be um, attached later on to the top of his nose um, but before we do we are going to place one holding band and that band is, is going to be half looped as well half double looped and it's going to be like this on these three packs and again on two packs double loop it so not on all three but just on two uh, now what we can do is we can loom this up just the middle one first and both sides and just leave it right on here because we're going to attach it later hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the capping bands up a little bit and the other one down otherwise I can't see the difference and I was constantly grabbing bands of my capping bands, you don't want that but now it's looped onto itself and grab the top two and them all the way up and this side you can remove the bottom part of it just leave the top three packs on that way you don't have to place it on a hook right now you just leave it right where it is so that's the top of his nose uh, what we're gonna do now is create his eyes and his ears and place some holding bands right here before we start looming uh, for his eyes 
what I'm going to need is two black bands and each of them I'm going to create four loops on my hook just like that, four loops and another one, four loops these bands I'm going to place onto one single white band oh, I need to keep the point of my hook up <laughs> otherwise it slips there we go and these will be my eyes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them on these two packs okay, now I'm gonna push them apart a bit just like that and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in between the eyes between the bands and grab one half and place it over the pack so one half is still here just gonna leave it in the middle one half one band is right on top there so those will be his eyes and now for his ears uh, you should have enough space here um, otherwise you can do the bottom bit on your hook or just wait till we attach the bottom of his face and make the ears later but what we're gonna do is do four double loop white bands in a row Four double loop white bands, so this is one, and just come down three more times. Make sure you have enough space because the and the last one we're gonna do is black double looped, and you, so you should have this all double looped, and then grab another black band and use it as a capping band to cap off four times. I'm gonna do the same thing at the other side right here. black for the last one so four whites one black all double looped and then four loops at the bottom the capping bands oh, we figured it out. all right and now I'm gonna loom these up and I'm gonna place them right on top of his head on those packs From the Asterix and Obelix series, I already did a tutorial on panoramics and Asterix. So if you like them, you can go to my channel or to my Facebook page and make those figures as well. I'm going to get the ears off and place them on my figurine. So I've taken them off and I've placed them right on the top of his hat like that on this back and on the other one and now all there's left to do is place two holding bands the one at the top here is going to be double looped so the one around his eyes just like that and the one below there is going to be half doubled so just like we did before grab your band make a triangle grab one end and loop it back on two of the three packs. Uh, now, what the last band we need to do is his capping band here, which is going to be just regular capping, so four loops. Okay. Now uh, we can start looming. We can loom up uh, just one band on each side and that is where we will attach 
Once we land on there, that's where we attach his belly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't need a capping man. I'm sorry. Uh, of course, we need to add his body. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about that. And um, what you need to know about adding his body is that we're going to add him upside down. Otherwise, his face will be... I don't know how it will be, but... Uh, something like... Uh, that face backwards so strange anyway so add it upside down really sorry and I just pull it down a little so it's not in the way um, but we loop still the same we loop up only the first three first band to each side first one for me goes to the middle then for me it's gonna go to the right and once to the left. I figured I grabbed too many there. So now I'm going to take these off. And I just place all the ends on my hook. And I'm going to place them onto the packs. So on this pack first. And because I don't want the bands to fall off, I'm going to loop up straight away. So go in there, grab the bottom two bands, and loop them on top of themselves. The middle one. I'm going to place it on this pack, the third pack from the top. Make sure I grab all the four loops. Yeah, I got all of them. And I'm going to come down on the third pack on the side and attach right there. Go underneath. And I'm using my thumb here to keep his lower hat piece, his snout, in place. Otherwise they fall off real easily. But anyway, I'm going to loop up the uh, middle first now. And then I'm going to do the both of the sides. And Oh, wait a minute. What we're going to do is we're going to add a few more bands uh, to those two uh, packs we just looped on each side. So don't loom up yet. What we're going to do is I'm going to add create a bit of his cheeks. Um, so do three loops on your... Um, hook like that. Take off the band on the side you just looped and place these three loops right on top of it, right on him, like that, and just place it back. So I will show it on this side with black, just one so you can see better. But I'm taking a black band and just gra uh, take it off. And what you do is just put all of the loops there. Of course, you use white and just place it back like that. I'm just going to uh, take them off now and be really careful so that it won't fall apart. One and do the white. It will give him a bit of a uh, bit of an effect that he has like thicker cheeks. Right, and now we can loom up both of the sides. So I hope you saw that, managed to do it. And otherwise, you can you can do without those two bands. But he just looks slightly better with them. Okay.
through here. The last one. Um, now we're done, but before we take it off, we're going to create a slip knot here to make sure our figurine doesn't fall apart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hook and go through all the bands, just like here, this. I'm going to grab one band, one white band, because that's the one you I don't really notice. You can use a very colorful one if you like as well, but I prefer white. I'm going to pull it through. After I pull it through, I'm going to reattach the other side of the band and just the side that's furthest on my hook, I'm going to pull it over and just pull like that. And I have a slip knot. And if all's well, your figurine will not fall apart. If you looped everything, so we can just take it off. Now what I've got to do is I've got to pull, push his eyes to the front. Apparently I have a bit of... Alright, first I'm going to fix his feet. I all want them all to face to the front, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in through the back, go through um, the first double loop band right here, and I'm just going to pull it backwards and like this it will kind of face forward I'm going to do that with all my feet oh, I'll just show you one more and for the tutorial and you can do it on all your feet so here again I'm going to go through the back I want him to face that way later so I'm going to go here and just hold it and pull it backwards and as you can see it bends quite naturally now uh, what I also want to do is I like his ears to face down a little, so I'm just going to go in there as well and just pull it so one of at least one of his ears is like really pointing down and you can just stretch it up again if it's too far and pull it like half down like that. Um, yeah, I want his mustache to fall down. I'm just going to pull it, but that will be enough. There's one really long band here. I want that to even out a little. So just kind of pull through all the loops, just like that. Uh, what more? Well, his eyes are coming out too far now. Sometimes you just have to like half pull them through or hold them back a little. Yeah like that. I want black spots but I don't want them to be too prominent. Um, yeah, his little cheeks. So here you go, you got your little Ida fix. Only two paws. <laughs> but anyway, he goes quite well with the Asterix figurine and with panoramics. And I'm also working on, let me see if I can show you, yeah, our cacophonics. I already finished his harp. I'm really proud of that the tutorial for his harp is already online. I think it's one of my better designs. I really liked how he turned out. You do need two transparent bands for it, but you can kind of replace them with white if you want. But um, Anyway, so go and check it out. Uh, link to my Facebook page will be in the description. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!